Hello, it's time to kick off the Summer Reading Challenge 2021 where we're all going to be wild world heroes. So for our first event I thought I'd come to my local country park in Upton where we're going to find things that we're going to make a wind catcher with. I've got my daughter Charlie with me, Hello. she's going to help me. The only thing we need to find is a piece of wood about that long but other than that whatever we can find is a bonus and it will make our own unique wind catcher. So let's all go and see what we can find in the woods. Yay! And we're back. Here I am with all the things that I found my forage through the woods. I hope you found some interesting things too. Let's see how we can put them together and make a wind catcher. So the first thing we need is this big sturdy stick. That's the only thing that we really needed to find because that's what we need to start our wind catcher off. So I'm just going to put that there. And then as you can see, I've got lots of little things. I've got some leaves, I've got a pine cone, I've got a tiny little pine cone, I've got a conker, got a stone and I've got a walnut and we're going to make those dangle from our sturdy piece of wood and when they're in the wind they'll blow around. Now I've gone for a very naturey theme here so I've even got a green piece of string so what we need to do is we need to, to cut a few pieces of string various lengths because we don't want everything the same length so I shall cut that off there, cut that off there and you can use anything like this. You can use string if you've got it. You can use wool. Uh, you can use bits of ribbon if you want a bit, nice bit of colour on it. And of course you don't have to use the things that you find in the woods. If you want to make a wind catcher out of things that you can find around the house, that's great. Another thing you might want to do, and you must get your parents permission if you are thinking of doing this, is maybe have a walk around your neighbourhood and see what bits of rubbish you can find things that should be in the recycling and maybe you can use those and make a wind catcher out of those just to show people that they shouldn't leave their rubbish around because that's all part of our environment theme. So I'm going to start off with my pine cone. I'm going to wrap the string around my pine cone here and I'm going to tie a knot. Do, do, do. There we go, that's a nice knot tied there and then I'm going to tie the other end of the string to my sturdy stick. Again, another knot. I might do a double knot this time just to make sure that it stays on. And then that's in place. And as you can see, when we've got that, the wind will blow that around. So let's do the same with our other things here. So let's do one of our leaves, shall we? We'll do, uh, we'll get a nice short piece of string for this nice big leaf. So I'm going to tie uh, a knot around the leaf here. Okay. See what we can do with this. Okay, stay on there. And then I'll tie this to the other end of here. This is all about just using the things that we find around us and these are all things that when I went to have a look in the woods near my house I found on the floor. I didn't take them off the trees because you want things that have already kind of fallen off. Um, let's do my tiny little pine cone now shall we. Um, let's get a, a really small bit there so we can have that near this. Side. So let's cut another bit of string. And being a wild world hero is all about getting in touch with nature um, because if we don't understand the things that are around us there's no way that we're going to be able to make a difference to our environment. So it really is fun if you can to get outdoors and just see what you can find out and about. Uh, where I live and I don't live too far from most of you I live in Upton which is uh, not too far away from Dustin Library where I am. Some of you watching this may even live in Upton. Um, there's a badger that wanders around right in the middle of the housing estate. And one night I saw him uh, just looking around for some food. I think he eats out of people's bins. But that's good, you see, because that's food that would otherwise 
go to waste and the badger is making the most of it. So I do like to see my friend the badger every now and again when I look around. Um, I'm going to use this lovely little leaf now. Uh, we're going to tie this here. So tie this. And a wind catcher is, is different from a dream catcher. Some of you may have made dream catchers when you're at school or uh, at nursery. And dream catchers just uh, they're things to put above your bed to help filter good dreams down into your head. That's what the Native Americans believe. But a wind catcher is just something that looks nice out in your garden. Right? So you need the wind for a wind catcher. So it's not something to keep in the house really. Um, and especially if you've been uh, picking things up outside, your grown-ups might not want stuff in the house. And we've got that there. Uh, I'm going to need my conker now. So this one might require a bit of uh, expertise to get the string in the right place. See, look, I told you. Um, if you've got a grown-up who can help you out, you might want to thread a hole in a conker as if you were playing a game of conkers. Um, and if you've never played conkers before, ask your grown-up all about it. It's a good fun game. Right, let's just do that there. Take a bit more care than I did last time. And it won't pop off. And we'll tie that into another knot just to be double safe. And I hope you're all going to do the Summer Eden Challenge this year. Uh, last year we, we had to do things a little bit different because uh, people weren't allowed into our libraries. So you had to sign up online. Um, and people kind of found it a little bit difficult. We still had a good number of people do it. And thank you to everyone who did sign up last year. But this year you can come back to the library and sign up from today. In fact, you can come to your local library. Uh, there should be somebody there sitting with a stack of booklets to give you. When you sign up, um, hopefully you've seen a video all about the Summer Reading Challenge at your school because uh, I made one and sent one out to, for that. Um, and then you'll know all about it and you can come to your local library and sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge. Let's do the walnut now. Really, I didn't know we had a walnut tree in the woods where I near, near where I live. Um, I might have to go back when the nuts are ready, maybe later in the autumn. Um, and get some fresh walnuts because my dad likes walnuts and I think he would quite like some fresh walnuts and you can do that as long as you wash them first and then prepare them quite nicely so let's just tie that onto that do a double knot to keep it safe Here we go, we've got another leaf here, we need two more bits of string and then we've got all we need for the danglers and then we'll need a little bit more string so we can attach it to wherever we're hanging it. So I'll do this one here, tie this round And you'll be surprised if you uh, if you want to do one with stuff that you find around the house. What you can find little buttons, um, the beads, just bits of ribbon, uh, any fun little piece of plastic that would otherwise have no other use, and you can make it into a lovely little ornament for your garden or your balcony if you live in a flat. Not everybody has a garden, um, but you can make your balcony look nice. And just make things just look a bit prettier than they otherwise would be. Now this is going to be a tricky one because this stone is not perfectly round. So I might need to do a bit of wrapping around here. Right, how's that? Has that worked? I don't know if that's worked. Trust me to find an awkward shaped stone, eh? I blame my daughter Charlie who you would have seen at the start of this video who came out helping me look for things. She didn't particularly find the uh, the stone but I'm still going to blame her because why not? You know, it's the kind of thing that you have to do when you're a dad. Oh. 
da da And let's tie this. Where have we got some space? Let's put it between these two leaves here. Right, so that's everything tied to our wind catcher there. And this is a very long one. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to tie something to the top of the piece of wood so that we can hang it from a tree. And for that, we just need a longer piece of string than usual. And if you are cutting, maybe get a grown up to help you with the cutting. We tie one end to this end of the stick. Always using double knots here. They call granny knots. Uh, not sure why. That's because your granny taught you how to do them in the olden days. Who knows? Who knows how these things come about? And yep, yeah, I'll do a double knot. And there we go. We've got a wind catcher. And I'm going to go and hang that in the tree outside Dustin Library. So next time you come and visit, perhaps come and see my wind catcher. And if you've made one of your own, send in a photo to the comments below this video. And I'd love to see what you've made on the start of your journey towards becoming a wild world hero.